is at fault here is the fact that he's was flipping dangerous. You know, and so there was nothing wrong with actually doing an electric vehicle of this type, but the actual total concept was pants. You know, it was ill-conceived and narrow-minded. You know, um, you really needed to really understand what the end user wanted. Zeit was getting there, but the, the functionality and the, the, the performance wasn't quite there. But he's not around doing much today, is he? I mean, I think there is Sinclair Research so kicking around. He's not really sort of capitalised on sort of technological advances that he could have done through really some, to be quite honest, some dumb decision making. I used to work with the, the guy that designed that uh, in the first job at BIB and he did not get some ten stick over it. <laughs> um, again, a uh, little bit more uh, <coughs> close to home perhaps, uh, you've got uh, three different uh, video cassettes. There was the Betamax, there was the uh, VHS and VCR, I think, wasn't it, something like that. Yeah. And the better one was the Betamax, the next one was the VCR, and the poorest one was the VHS. But I think VHS was by JBC, but they got in first and set the standard, and nobody else could compete. And so uh, I think it was um, Philips and Sony lost an awful lot of money to try to develop a competitor. So actually getting in there quick with your technology, setting a standard um, <coughs> is critical. Um, just advanced technology and miniaturization. I can't actually find an image of the first ever Sony Walkman, but that's near enough one of the early ones, but it really has set the whole lifestyle sort of genre in actually using and develop, uh, developing products on the back of technology. It's all about just getting stuff small and using the advances in technology um, to actually generate something new. Um, you mean the likes of Philips and, and institutions like that have core R&D departments where, you know, Bottoms innovators are just left alone to come up with new ideas without having the constraints of how they're going to be used. It's for somebody else to look, well, that's a good idea, we could use it that way. Well, that's a good idea, we could use it that way. Um, I think Sony worked the same way. Familiar with Mr. Dyson, um, how just uh, capitalising pretty emphatically on, uh, on the cyclonic principle has earned him a pretty much a, a, a significant place in the market. Anybody got a Dyson vacuum cleaner? Mm -hmm. Is it broken yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay. But they're quite complicated. Um, but he, you know, he's, 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 he's done quite well with it. Um, and it's taken him quite a while to get there. And he's had quite lots of patents. Um, it's just basic vortex technology. It is basic vortex technology. I mean, he's, he's just made a good, um, a good job of making a meal out of it and, and spending money on protecting himself with the nuances. Um, latest thing is the ball, which you're probably familiar with. Uh, actually, that's spawned from a, a wheelbarrow we did quite a few years ago and trying to resurrect that. Again, I think that's fairly well rated. Didn't always get it right, though. Um, the blade on the left has been a little bit successful. Have you actually seen one of these blade handrails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 in the hospital. Yeah. They work. Look how big they are. Huge. And the noise. And the noise. Mm -hmm. you have to get Five minutes I've got. I'm getting there. Um, <coughs> and then uh, the washing machine on the right. Quite innovative. I think it was about 1,200 quid. Yeah. Looked dreadful. And then I think someone like Bosch or something came up with something half the price that did. It <coughs> so, you know, he's got to keep innovating now, hasn't he? He's got to keep doing new things. So the, the requirement to innovate actually becomes a little bit of a burden as well. So, you know, that's something to bear in mind. And then just a little bit, you know, obviously the Apple story, we all know that. Um, and one of the successful things about so the Apple is not just the products are so nice to use, but they've now got the whole iTunes scenario that goes with it. You know, so they're not just selling hardware, they're selling, you know, um, uh, downloaded material, etc., etc., and all that comes with that. Um, speed on. And then we drift into environmental issues. We spend a lot of time at DMU now. Um, in, in fact, we, we've got quite a bit of funding available for, for companies to develop new products. But one of the things we'll have to do is to make sure that those products that are developed in some ways pay lip service, in <coughs> or, uh, not just lip service, but quite a significant uh, respect to the environment and, uh, and low carbon initiatives and so on. So, environment right the way through. Now, the thing about the environment is the reason why that's there and it is not just because we should be uh, conscientious and we should design products that impact on the environment as little as possible. But in actual fact, it's what the public wants as well. So, you know, whether you agree with it or you think it's a bandwagon or, um, a, a, and so on and so forth, 
uh, and it is to a certain extent. I mean, the Prius car, for instance, you know, uh, the, the 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 amount of energy and the if you really dig into the green issues on the batteries and the disposability of them, you'd be quite horrified. You know, the most do you know what the most environmentally friendly thing to do with your car is at the moment? Just keep, keep it. it. Just keep it. Don't buy a new one. Mm -hmm. You know, and keep and, and keeping it going. Now, however, even if it isn't the most petrol efficient, um, it, you know, it, it, it takes a lot more energy to make a new car than the inefficiency of the car you've already got. So, you know, it's again, the, it's, it's, it's uh, paying lip service to that. Right. Not bad. Five minutes early. We'll move on to the task. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. I don't think we've got enough time. But we'll have a bit of fun. Um, what I'm going to suggest is how many groups have we got? So you think? One, two, three, four, five. What about you lot at the back row? We just sort of. We're <laughs> 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 right. So group one, group two, group three, group four, group five. We've got five groups. All right. Um, what I want to see if we can try and do is, as teams, <coughs> build a bridge. Okay, so we're going to use the tables and separate them by half. We'll, we'll try half a meter. And if it doesn't, so I'll come around and measure your table for you. But hang on a second, just before you do. Now, the, the criteria are um, I'm trying to introduce a bit of the objective and the subjective, all right? And I'm not sure how this will work. But we want a creative approach to how the bridge is constructed. So you might end up just sticking cardboard boxes which are incredibly solid and it'll work and it'll function. But the jury will, be, the, the jury will decide that isn't very elegant. So this is, the, this is the Philip Stark element I want to bring in. So we want a creative, visually attractive, in inverted commas, approach to this bridge. And then the functional element is, um, I'd like it to support a reasonable weight. So we've got a fairly heavy brick. I didn't have enough uh, time to get uh, enough for everybody from Wix, so I'll leave this at the, these at the front, and you can come and get them every now and then and see how far you are. It's a fairly heavy one, middling one, and a lightweight one. So obviously, if you can do something that looks stunning in terms of its creativity and supports the heaviest brick, you'll have satisfied the aesthetic uh, criteria and the functional criteria. <laughs> and the kind of the compromises you need to make will be, you know, well, A, about how you're going to work with the team. <laughs> 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 this is going to be, be, be two. Okay, I'll bang that oh. uh, Now, the fact is, the end result isn't what's important. It's the fact that you're thinking about what you're doing and what decisions you're going to make. That's, that's, the, that, that's the experiment. And it should be a bit of fun, if nothing else. So... Yeah, a little <laughs> 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 